What's going on everybody? This is Gerard and you are watching Mondays with Mardo. All right, everyone, we got the newest size of the Warp 4 del Valle, and it's called Selección del Valle. This is a six by 52 ring gauge. It's got the new 109 style cap on it. It's a hybrid between a traditional cap and a belicoso. So we're gonna get into this cigar, and we're gonna tell you what we think. So we, before we get any further into the review of this beautiful cigar, I'm gonna ask you guys to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mardo Cigars. And we're gonna have coming out with new episodes for Mondays with Mardo's and many, many other things. We're gonna have inside look within the cigar industry, come up with new products, new things, boutique stuff, amazing, blah, 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 I'll go on forever. So therefore, without boring you any further, subscribe to our channel so you can get all that stuff within little tiny snippets of episodes. So that's Mardo Cigars on YouTube. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every single time a new episode comes out. All right, everyone, I'm very excited to have the new Warp Flor del Valle. This is the newest size. It's called Selección del Valle. Actually, in reality, the true name of this cigar is called Ghost Orchid. Now, due to naming rights, they weren't able to keep that name, so I'm a little bummed about that, but this, in my book, is AKA Ghost Orchid. Okay, so I'm going to cut this cigar. We're gonna utilize our Mardo Double blade cutter that we have on our website for just three dollars and these cut very well as you can see there's my first cut double blade it's pretty cool three dollars and i'm going to use my single torch mardo cigar lighter we have these on our website as well i think they're about five dollars and fifty cents as well as mardo cigar stands these are made out of aluminum these only go for 12.99 here we are. Now, Kyle is the owner of Warp Cigars and he started making cigars and working uh, under El Titan factory in Miami, which we all know Willie Herrera's family, uh, I believe his wife's family, owns El Titan. So Kyle started working there, came out with his own blend and then uh, he embarked on the a wholesale side of business or manufacturing I should say and he started making cigars there and as well as making cigars in Miami um, they also make cigars in Nicaragua under Aganorsa which is known as Tapsa that's the name of the factory and the Fernandez family also grows leaf in Nicaragua so the Florida Valle is made in Nicaragua um, Aganorsa also known as uh, Tapsa, so this is where this is made. The Ghost Orchid is a beautiful, beautiful looking cigar. Um, I would say it's pretty dense, pretty well packed, not very, very heavy. Um, got a nice little shine on the Corojo 99 wrapper. I haven't taken a drag yet. I'm really babying this thing because I'm really, really excited. And I'm a little bit salivating because I'm a big Corojo uh, tobacco fan. So, with that being said let's take a drag very good <laughs> very good drag Ooh, god there's a good so why did i say that was good when i took half of a puff um i taste it was like the semi-dry draw and a little bit of smoke in there at the same time gave it a lot of rich um, puff right off the, it was like a little burst of the dry flavor of the tobacco and there was definitely some uh, scent of sweetness in there. But now that I got a full draw out of it, definitely uh, white uh, pepper in there, very, very distinct and <clears throat> it kind of hits the back of your throat which I like that. So we are in the first third, so let me get into it a little bit, and then I'll get back to you guys, see what I think. Okay, so we're in the first third of the cigar. Actually, the ash was a little bit longer, but half of it fell off. And this cigar is a little unique more than the others. The reason why I say that is it has this creaminess when you first draw the cigar and completely different, unique flavors as a retrohale. Uh, what is retrohaling? And whenever I take a drag of the cigar, I like to exhale 
which they call retrohale through my nasal cavity and therefore I get more of the flavor of the cigar. So, pretty complex cigar. I wouldn't say fully complex, but I would give this so far a medium strength cigar. Uh, it doesn't knock me on my butt. And uh, as I said, the first draw is very creamy. And when I retrohale, uh, definitely the white pepper is definitely there. However, it's coupled with some creaminess of that deep coffee bean flavor, a little bit of cinnamon in there as well. And um, that's what I'm getting so far, you guys. Very enjoyable. Now, I usually tend to smoke cigars very fast. Um, but the Florida Valle Warp product, for me personally, I try to baby it a little bit more and slow down uh, due to the white pepper flavor. If I smoke the cigar really, really fast, I'm going to miss some of the subtle hints like creaminess. You really got to take your time. For me, I speak for myself, I really need to take my time to really indulge the, uh, the smoke within my uh, palate, within my nasal cavity to really notice that and take my time. So before we get into the second, third, I'm gonna take one more drag to make sure that the hints that I'm uh, describing are truly, truly there. And the draw is very, very easy draw, not hard, uh, very well rolled, construction is very good. But yeah, the white pepper actually is getting a little bit less, but it does hit the back of my throat, which is very nice uh, because that leaves a little bit of lingering uh, after I set it down on our beautiful Mardo cigar stand, you guys. I keep telling you, these are only $12.99 on our website. Save yourself some money. This is almost half the price of the competition out there and they work phenomenal. So anyway, stay tuned. We're gonna get in a second third as I baby this bad boy. Okay everyone, so we're in the second third of this cigar and it has definitely switched gears here. Um, one of the things I notice a lot of people that when they smoke a cigar, they wait for that pop. And what does that pop mean is a shift in flavors and then they want to see that abundant flavor of the cigar, its true nature, what it's supposed to do. And I would definitely say the second third or the beginning of the second third, this cigar definitely popped. It got into that um, deeper flavor. And what happened is that the white pepper has definitely gone faint. It's still there. However, it's not as, um, exaggerated as it was in the first third and the flavors I'm getting now is definitely some toasted nuts but more than anything I'm getting that caramel flavor that I really like um, it's definitely there now this is becoming very enjoyable the jaw is still really good and uh, more than anything else that I noticed that the jaw is not becoming hot um, so it's almost like halfway in the cigar but we're still in the second third Yeah, the white pepper is still there. Definite flavors of caramel, a little bit of cinnamon as well. That toastiness is definitely there on the back of my uh, palate, but that uh, flavor that was hitting down here in my throat has definitely uh, balanced out and it's becoming very, very smooth cigar. So we're gonna get into the last third of this cigar and I still have a little bit to go in the second third. And um, yeah, it's definitely balancing itself out and we'll see what the last third of it will do. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, so we're in the last third of the Warped Florida Via, their newest addition to the line, the 6x52. As you can see, I had to remove the band. It came off very easily. One thing I definitely noticed is that it produces a lot more smoke now. As you can tell, the smoke is a little denser, definitely white gray smoke. Um, the second third definitely is the wow factor where it popped where all the flavor, the caramel flavor was definitely there. The white pepper has definitely uh, dissipated and what I'm getting now is the toasted flavors, very nutty toasty flavors coupled with a little bit of milkiness. It's hard to describe that, but uh, milky is the best thing that I can say. 
Uh, very good construction, very, very good burn. One thing that I did notice that this thing does not keep a very good ash, at least this stick, exact stick, um, did not keep an ash very, very thick. If you like stacking dimes, uh, for me, this one did not do that. The ash was falling very easily on its own. So other than that, I would say the construction is definitely up there. Uh, very good burn. I didn't have to do any rear lighting. It burned uh, very well. They did not tunnel or have any canoeing whatsoever. So that is my take on this cigar. This is the newest size, Warp Flor de Valle, Selección del Valle. But however, as I mentioned, they called it a ghost orchid and they couldn't keep that name because of the uh, naming rights within the United States. So if you go on our website, if you search ghost orchid, it will pop up because we did give it that name as well as for, uh, excuse me, Selección del Valle. So if you're interested in this, uh, go to modocigars.com. It does taste and burn a lot different than any other sizes. So that's just my take on it. I'm a big Toro guy. So yeah, that's it guys. A very good stick, I'm very happy with it. Still burning, not a hot draw. It's still nice and cool and producing a lot more smoke now. So that's my take on the last third. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Other than that, this is Gerard, I'm signing out. Thank you.